I didn't want to talk about any music. We just no, wanted I to talk about it. Harry Where Potter have this we whole time. <laughs> oh my God. Bless! <laughs> we on there like Jordan and Jordan. In the studio, we sporting anything. Oh, wow. Hi. You're watching Locally Grown. Via Zoom on the YouTube. Via Zoom. What is today? Today is Monday, January 17th. But by the time this is posted, it's probably not going to be that time. Or day. It's probably not going to be Monday. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to be talking to Sean from Mild Mannered in just a little bit. He's a homie. He's a cool dude from Columbus. Going to be chatting about some indie alt rock goodness some good acoustic jammy jamness what do you think jared you ready i'm so ready hey what's up how we doing hello you guys hear me okay yes Yes. very well very nice actually i kind of want to get a drink now that you just showed yours off Oh my gosh, go. yes. Get a drink. Oh, please get do. a little yeah. drink. Ignore my, ignore my work on top and lounge on bottom here. Oh my god, no, literally same. <laughs> uh, also with you. Um, I heard it's called the Zoom mullet. You know, like <laughs> business on the top, like, and then the party on the bottom. Oh, totally. Can you hear us all right, mate? Yeah, oh, crikey. Yeah, you guys sound great. <laughs> nice. Do you, uh, you know any accents? Any? I mean, I do like doing. Bri- I've I said crikey. I feel like that's more Australian, but I feel like there's. Oh, this is my cat Katara, by the way. You'll probably see her a few times. Hi, oh, Katara. Yes, <laughs> oh, Katara. Every time I talk, she gets like real amped up. Oh, um, oh my gosh, that's adorable. <laughs> yeah, um, I I would never like on the spot do an accent. It just kind of has to happen. But definitely like the Brit the British one for sure. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Mostly I really again. like Jersey, like a like a Jersey <laughs> accent. I like when people I can't do it, but I love a Jersey accent. <laughs> uh, cool. Okay, cool. Well, hey everybody, welcome to a Zoom call with Locally Grown. Sean from Mild Mannered here, virtually with us, and uh, his cat as well <laughs> katara is katara, it katara yeah she'll be she'll be making her rounds for sure love it <laughs> you'll love to see it okay sean so you're down in columbus right now what part because we know that columbus be like cleveland like there's all these suburbs and whatnot right so yeah so i'm i'm pretty close to like downtown so i'm like actually in columbus but i'm from worthington which is like 10 minutes north little suburb um i'm right by the short north if you guys are familiar with that it's like it's like ohio state campus short north downtown like all in a row so okay yeah yeah absolutely good little area and how long have you been doing music there in columbus um pretty fresh so um i was up in cleveland i was in lakewood uh from 2017 to right before the pandemic um i was working at a tech company in cleveland and then pandemic hit we worked remote so i moved back to columbus um and i wrote these songs this is the first time i've like written on my own uh lyrics melodies all that stuff and so probably last July I finished up these four, so it, it's pretty fresh for me, uh, you know, doing the full songwriting process from start to finish, so not too Okay, long. Okay, so Mild Mannered is a relatively new, Brand new. Yeah, project. Here. Yeah. I know that you worked with someone that we have previously had on. You did your research. <laughs> yeah, Rachel. Yeah, I love Rachel. She's one of my best friends. Um, yeah, so I was in Cleveland playing with Westtown Bend. Uh, me and Rachel met in 2018 um started west town band together um you know got a couple more members and played for a couple years um i was actually going up there for you know better half of the last since i moved back i was going up and playing shows with them but um we're all kind of doing our own thing now but staying in touch and stuff like that so um, when i got back to columbus um just was like hey i should you know write my own stuff because i want to keep doing this and it's hard to find band members so um, i play with a drummer and bass player who recorded with me uh, but they're insanely talented and they're in a ton of projects so um, you know, they're busy people. So basically I'll just write the music and then, uh, whenever it's ready, I'll send it to them and kind of get their feedback and we work it out like that. So, uh, right now it's just me full-time member, but you know, hopefully we'll evolve into something. Would you say that you are oh, yeah. mild mannered? Yes. Yeah. I would say it's pretty fitting. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. What's your sign? Yeah. Uh, Libra. Libra. I don't okay. Know. okay. Good. You guys okay. sound excited. That's a- <laughs> Very good. Very good. We approve. 
Okay. Wave her, wave her. You're like, get the hell off my show. I don't know if there's like a hand sign for Libras, but yeah. <laughs> probably, it's probably like, not well, this. Well, Libras, yeah. yes, Libra. I do know. I do know that Libra is balanced. So you would be something okay. like this. Okay. Yeah. Oh, be right. Like, the balance. Of, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Like this. Yeah. And then, <laughs> yeah. Jeremy, what would, yes. <laughs> Jeremy, what would yours be? What would mine be? Oh, God. Well, yeah. What are you? What are you guys? Aquarius. Wait. No, wait. <laughs> Aquarius. Okay, there we Did go. You, okay, there we go. I'm a, I'm a Taurus baby. Nice, I like that. The bull horn. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Oh wait, no. I mean, okay. Can I change mine? <laughs> Not it. too late. No. Oh, damn it. Okay. No. What is it? Of course. <laughs> yeah. No. No. Whatever. Cut mind. that out. We're, just we're, we're past it. <laughs> we'll fix Maybe that. Maybe we'll in post. come back to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you use oh, that yeah. microphone when you're on your meeting calls and you're No, pickup? this is a bit aggressive for <laughs> for stand up, so this is my musical mic. <laughs> I want you to be like, hey everybody on these business reports. Yeah, I got my pop yeah. filter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I start singing like the reports. <laughs> it's like a podcast, like just really soothing tones, like through our ears, like ASMR kind of. Yeah. Yes. Like, they're like, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm giving the people what they want. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we're going to look at res- expense reports. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I would tune in all day. <laughs> okay. So we're, I feel like here we are locally grown. Um, you know, we've been doing this jazz for two years now. Nice. And we've really started kind of dipping our toes into the Columbus scene a oh, little bit yeah. more recently, Jerry. Let's go. Yeah. Let's it's like their sister yeah. cities or something, right? I feel like some sort of connection there. Yeah. Who? I don't know if that's what they'd call it. Sister cities or something. I don't know. Oh, yeah. 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 We're sure. like, like Eskimo cities. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so the music scene in Cleveland, Columbus, I feel like it's pretty good. Yeah. yeah and there's Not that a... I would know outside of that, but it seems like it. <laughs> you don't need to know. You don't need to know. <laughs> Take my word for it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, so well, there's also this. maybe we'll get sponsored so i'm gonna keep like kind of yeah no yeah keep drinking that keep putting that in the <laughs> i've drink. been trying for yep. years i have not been contacted uh, yep. like somebody <laughs> maybe i can get something from liquid oh, i that's fresh yeah, that'd be... water. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you're gonna be doing some live stuff for us correcto mundo uh, i'm gonna do one uh my um, i moved into this apartment uh march so it's almost been a year um and the, apparently the walls are thin, I've been told. So we're going to try to get one in before I get a noise complaint. I don't want to be the annoying neighbor. But if you can hear me now, I'm just playing one. So it'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> you guys saw here first, live on Mostly Grown. Sean getting arrested. And I'm cleared yourself. right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the landlord's going to kick my door down or something. But uh, yeah, usually when I practice vocals, I have to go in my bathroom and crank uh, my fans really loud. It's uh, not an ideal setup. So only one more month and then I'm out. <laughs> hey, you got to do what works. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it's a grind. You got to go in the bathroom and isolate yourself. And... Literally. <laughs> Low key, that terrible spot to record things, but great <laughs> no. for the vocals. Good acoustics, yeah. Good yeah. acoustics, though. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Just kiss. Well, you're saying... It takes you forever to write songs. This is not something that you are completely new to, pretty much, relatively speaking. Yeah. You never wrote songs when you were younger? Um, you wrote a little diddly? <laughs> no, I really never did. I, I would write guitar riffs all the time. Um, yeah, little, little sec- sections or even the full song guitar, but I would never really do lyrics or melody. Um, and I found out that like any other skill, you have to practice that. It was kind of just like in my head, I'm like, oh, like I, you know, just doesn't come to me. So guess I'm not a writer, but it's just like any skill you got to work on. So uh, most of my songs, I have the music done. And then if I'm lucky, sometimes they'll come like uh, the song I'm going to play that melody just kind of popped in your head. You get lucky. But uh, I've been working on a song for like two years. Uh, I've had the music done and, uh, you know, I revisit every once in a while. I'm like, OK, let's get some lyrics. And I'm om- I'm almost done. I have like nine percent. It but it's just like, oh, I should rework this. And sometimes you just got to put a pin in and be like, all right, this is it. Let's move on. <laughs> Oh, I feel that. <laughs> I feel that hurt. I'm like, I'm looking at you, Jerbs. Jerbs has. Yeah, that's all I can Know the say. feeling? Okay, yeah. It's like, oh, I'll tweak this. And that, even like, I'm making a demo, like, just to get the idea across. And then I'm like, uh, you know, adjusting stuff, like, by a millimeter. And I'm just like, dude, this isn't even going to get released. This is just like a scratch track. <laughs> I get oh. it. I get it. But Jerbs has like a discography, a genuine discography of songs that are 95 percent done they're never and will done probably <laughs> never be released <laughs> no one day you got it yeah 
Maybe. Just, Maybe in like seven years. I have like just, 10 songs that are like 50% done. And I'm like, I'll get to them one day. I never will. Right. <laughs> now, you just released something, speaking of releasing things and whatnot. Yes. You had yeah. an EP just, what, like in the it last was last week? week? I think it was Tuesday, yeah. How are, pe- how are people liking it? How's that Good. I mean, you know, people have to be nice to me because they'll hurt my feelings if not. But it seems genuine. <laughs> uh, you know, my parents love it. So, uh, so um, that's all that no. matters, truly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, they'd tell me that, whatever. But no, it's been it's been really cool. And, um, uh, you know, the the coolest part, I'd say, is like a lot of people that I maybe haven't talked to. I still keep in contact maybe on like social media, but maybe we haven't directly talked and like several years some of these people um will message me and they're like whoa like you know i didn't know you sang or like it sounds really good and, like that's really cool um because you know we haven't talked in a while it's like they didn't have to do that so like those are like really special like those, mm-hmm. when i get those messages that's been really cool because um I, I took kind of a break of music like through high school i was really into sports i didn't really play um and i kind of got back into it like uh i guess it's like five years now so some of these people i haven't talked to in a while you know maybe didn't even know i did music so um, that's been really cool to kind of, to kind of hear that. Um, yeah, it's been a little scary cause like singing's pretty new too. Uh, like it's scary to sing and I'm a lot more confident playing guitar. So, uh, like, you know, when you hear yourself recorded, you're like, what the hell, why do I sound like that? So, you know, getting more comfortable with that and stuff has been cool. So <laughs> I feel like we're talking to the most like modest, humble guy that we yes, had on the show. Say, <laughs> Just, I don't know if that makes me modest. I mean, I am but like, I don't know if that, that kind of like contradicts it, but, uh, yeah, I definitely try to say mild man. Like, <laughs> but you sound Even like, you, sound yeah, like you said you're, it. Like, you're like going with the flow, but you're like really enjoying it. Yes, like you're absolutely. Loving it. Yes, I am. It's like um, I've been having a really good time. I feel like I'm kind of coming into my own. Um, uh, even this is last year, just kind of doing the music stuff and, um, you know, going through some personal stuff, like figuring life out and stuff. So, yeah, I feel like I'm in a good spot and, and music's been such a great outlet. And um, yeah, music's just the best. <laughs> what is one like lyric that sits in your head that you wrote that you're like damn that was a, <laughs> like that's a, that good, was one. a good one yeah um <laughs> i think my favorite lyric i've done is in it's time um which is the one i'll play i guess i could give a talk about that one a little bit that that's kind Ooh. of at the uh about the end of a relationship where uh both parties kind of know it's coming to an end so you know you kind of see the writings on the wall and you've talked about it and even though it's probably like the right thing to do, it still fucking sucks. So uh, that's what that one's about. And the bridge is, um, I've got to let you go. It's hard, but we both know the flame that burned is out. Uh, when it comes to love, there's always a doubt. Um, I just like that last line. I've had, I've been in like two serious relationships and um, always kind of like wondered that thought in the back of your head. You know, you know, these people like they see someone like love at first sight and like that's the one. Um, and it's kind of like asking that. It's like, you know, is there always a doubt? Like, um, are you are you are you gonna know? I don't know. Um, so I, I just like that one a lot. <laughs> so. mm, that is so real. That <laughs> is a real. real feeling. Yeah, we're getting deep. Yeah, I'm uh, probably too much of an open book. So, <laughs> like, <laughs> well, that's the best part. It I mean. makes for a good interview. Yeah, no, that's. I hope so. I was like, they're gonna be like, dude, stop. Like, no one wants to know that. Stop talking about stuff. <laughs> yeah. I gotta go call my mom. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> I my favorite genre is rock. Some of these aren't the most rock. I'd say there's a little. Yeah, I try to throw a guitar solo in there, um, but I like to like write that stuff. But a lot of the lyrics, as my drummer uh, so uh, eloquently put, he's like, you like rock, but you write like sad boy lyrics. So <laughs> it's kind of that blend of like. Yeah, I'm like a rock star, you know, I don't play like these cool riffs and then I'm like, I'm sad. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> <laughs> See right inside me. <laughs> yeah. Here's my very heart. Emotional. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, I'm trying to wear like a leather jacket and like be cool. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's called balance and you're a Libra. <laughs> yes. So yeah, you're, you're, you're a Libra. Libra. Let's come go. back. It all, it all comes come back. Come back, baby. <laughs> we'll circle. <laughs> <laughs> so it. what is your what's it's, it's what january i don't even know 17 yeah okay. <sighs> what is time <laughs> yeah <laughs> Ew. okay so we're like in january i guess Weird. what is the rest of 2022 looking for you what do you got on the plan what's the vision Vi- okay yeah so um uh, it's pretty open right now like i see the ep just came out um uh, now that that's out hopefully i'll be able to start getting some shows i kind of want to wait till that was out so can send this music to you know venues and stuff but like here's my sound so 
Um, I do have my first officially scheduled show um, March 5th in Newport, like right by Cincinnati. Um, it's a really cool, um, I guess you could call it a festival. It's called Rock and Revival. Um, all the money goes to charity. I don't know the specific thing, uh, but it's a really good cause. And I found out about it through mutual friends or whatever. So um, really excited for that. Like I said, that? uh, I, that's uh, March 5th. Okay, rock and cool. revival yeah so i'm excited about that and like i said since i don't have like an official band my uh my go-to guys are busy so i'm kind of throwing like a ragtag team of uh guys together so hopefully uh you know we can pull it together but i'm excited for that um i'm going to the Love studio it. next month just locked in the date for a new single i'm really excited about i don't know if it's recency bias but i'm definitely i think this is out of the ones i've done this is definitely most excited for this one's a little more rock um, and then, yeah, hopefully, like I said, I got a couple that are close to done. So I, I would say the vision is pump out, you know, at least three, four more, start getting some shows, just kind of, uh, get to know the scene a little bit, meet some other bands and stuff like that. So still in the early stages, but really just want to get out and play, keep recording. Yes. It's the time to do it right now. Honestly. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I spend 99% of my time in this chair right here. I got my work set up then I hit a button and then this is, I have all my music stuff. So uh, <laughs> make sure you're stretching hi uh, what's that do you record there and like uh like just like the demos um i recorded uh this ep uh with jim stewart at superior sound in cleveland he's like hey. the best the yeah ever everyone's got to use him in cleveland the he's guy yeah he's the dude yep and then mastered by adam buse uh which is awesome as well and now that i'm in columbus um i do know a guy jacob mooney um in columbus who's like just incredible um mutual friend and stuff like that so i'm really excited to work with him for this uh this next one love it yeah do you think i've honestly as someone who we've we've toyed with music for our whole whole last lives like forever um but haven't really professionally recorded we had the opportunity to do it in february of 2020 we were that right close. before covid not, not, a good time. Time. <laughs> not a good time to try to do we this were story. like they it's were fine. like we three are. three hours of studio time that you'll yes. never be able to do. <laughs> probably day of like yeah that, oh my gosh it's like things are starting to close You're like oh no <laughs> like, it was, oh, yeah, yeah it was like falling hours. all around us it was like inception when like the world um, crash in on you I, it's I fine a, we went in <laughs> we went into podcasting we're fine look at yeah it's what a turn fine. of events yeah no it's great <laughs> look how it all worked out yeah, i remember exactly like, right when things started closing i had a tattoo schedule and i was so excited and the, and my tattoo artist kept like having to push it back and i was like this week everything's closing i was like i have to come in and like literally the next day all the tattoo place closed i was like thank you i was like <laughs> thank you so much what was it like, what was the tattoo? what we've been preparing for <laughs> this it, it's a peacock feather uh for my late cat mozzie my other cat um Aww. it was her favorite thing to play with Aww, i won't go into the whole story but basically my mom had a friend at a farm at peacock feathers apparently cats love them um, uh -huh. and so that was her like favorite toy so that one's for Mozzie. Pouring out for Mozzie. Shout out Mozzie. <laughs> Shout out Mozzie. Shout out Mozzie. <laughs> Jerbs, I'm getting your cat's peacock feathers. That's adorable. Oh, they'll love it. Well, shoot. I think I'm ready. I'm ready for some live music. Jerbs, what All about right. you? Um, I think so. <laughs> All right. Pressure's on. Here we go.
that you're gone. The days seem long. Wander the road alone. Distance between us grows. I've got. That was awesome. Yeah, no, this uh, was really yeah, great. When it, Thank you, guys. When it came to that bridge. Oh, I'm glad we talked about it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> glad we talked about it. We cried about it. We had thoughts and feelings about it. it was yeah. Great. Wow. Um, and I see I see seeing you perform that way made me think of West Town Ben completely. Like, yeah. I can see how you guys influence each other. Absolutely. Completely. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Uh, I feel like... Uh, West Town Band is a really like unique sound, which is really cool. And I think that's really, uh, you know, at least for my parts, it's the way like, you know, Rachel's influence is what she loves. And my, you know, I like that rock and stuff and she's kind of got that folk singer songwriter. So, um, yep. I would always just, <laughs> I mean, I'd throw a solo on all the songs because <laughs> I was like, you know, I'm lead guitar. I want to play a solo or whatever. So, uh, we kind of had that like fun blend of like folky songwriter and the little alternative rock and stuff. So, um, yeah, definitely, definitely some influence. Yeah, you got to put some stank on it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. it's oh, that's yeah. I think the new single's got some stank coming. So, Ooh, um, keep, love a little keep your noses out for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you, uh, not your ears, but your noses. Love it. Um, <laughs> do you have a date yet in mind for said single? I think, like, best case scenario, end of March would be awesome. But uh, some of this stuff, you know, take, like, I finished these songs last July. And to get a recording date, get a mixed master and all that stuff. It's like, now I'm like tired of these songs. I was like, Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm, like, I'm, yeah. fuck, I'm sick of these. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> <laughs> I hear that. <laughs> okay. Sean, thank you so much. Hey, have fun in Columbus. Don't forget yes, to come up and visit us, us sometime. Guys, I'm coming up this weekend. I'm going to rehearse with my boy, Bill from West Town Bend. He's filling in for my show. So I'll be up. I'll be up. And then the next weekend actually is my best friend's birthday in Cleveland. So. I'll be up there. Got Probably Corky's at 2 a.m., not singing in key, but having a good time. <laughs> hey, always a good time. <laughs> yeah. Do a mild mannered song. I will pick up the tab for sure. <laughs> Done. That is a promise. Say less. Yeah. Say less. <laughs> Just, yeah. There you go. Free night of, of drinks. Drinks and, yeah, whatever. Exactly. And good, good time. All you got to do. Memorize the song. Yeah, no, you don't even have to. They'll have the lyrics. I'll I'll hold up the teleprompter. It'll be fun. <laughs> yes. You got cue cards. <laughs> yeah, that work is done. <laughs> well, I just gotta bring cue cards in here. All you gotta do is show up. Like, I'll take care of the rest. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that would be a really good music video, and that, oh, that's my final. That's my final business. That one I will too. absolutely show you because that actually is a fucking awesome idea. <laughs> yeah. Just don't forget where you get these from. No, I got J and J right here. Just let us be an extra. Oh yeah, yeah. No, we'll do it at Corky. This is I'm, I'm not. That, we'll once it's it. on paper, it's official. Yeah. Yes. All right, guys. Cool. We saw it here first. Uh, locally grown, mild mannered collaboration music video. 
we have nothing to do with it, but what we have everything want? to but do. But we'll with be it. there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had a blast, guys. Thank you so much. This was this was awesome. Sean, yes, thank make sure you. you go stream Mild Manners new EP. We gotta get those plays. Let's go. Ooh, easy, baby. <laughs> go stream, go there. follow. Yep, yeah, yeah. De- I'm um, most active on Instagram. I'm not good about Facebook, but I have one. But yeah, definitely Instagram. <laughs> we'll we'll tag, we'll link, we'll do all the good oh, stuff for yeah. you. You don't even have to worry about it. Oh, are you Sean, got- was that a confirmation you guys are my managers <laughs> i don't have to do anything <laughs> stay in touch talk to you guys soon um thanks again for having me this was awesome and uh yeah thanks for like doing this for, for local musicians and stuff it's really awesome hell yeah we we appreciate you because you do it for us we'll keep doing it till hey, people say you know no what you do and <laughs> what is doing what, what do. we do to you. hey she's from joycey <laughs> hey you already know and that's what <laughs> do it for joy <laughs> <laughs> We've really come full circle. Yeah, we got to cut all it off knots. now. Yeah. We tied all the knots on all of the things. Literally. <laughs> wow. This that was, was like so the most fun. perfect interview. Sean, Sean was amazing. I, I loved his vibes. His vibes were right. I feel like we could be friends. Yeah. I feel yeah. like we are friends now. I well, actually, like... technically, technically, we're his managers now. So yeah, we really signed up for something we weren't even prepared for fully. Going we really did. It. I like really technically have like five jobs now. Essentially, yeah. Next week, we'll be talking to Brian Bacon. Um, he's a Cleveland artist, little solo guy. Um, and you can catch that on our IG live on January twenty fourth at ten p.m. Lit. It's lit. And that's. L O C L E Gronk. I'm going to put it somewhere up here. Somewhere over there. And then and go follow us while you're at it. Go follow Sean at Mild Mannered. And stay tuned for all the cool stuff we got coming up. Thank you guys for tuning in today. And we will see you all next week. Now, mild mannered. Mild friggin' mannered. Like, really just came out the gates like this. Like, didn't have to go that hard for us, but yeah, he did. But he did. School of Rock is my all time yes. movie. And that I, I, as a kid, I saw that scene and I was just like, just like a one. I was just like, I could, that's just the best melody I've ever heard. <laughs> sing song, 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 she's singing. And then Jack Black, like Jack Black's it, you know. <laughs> oh, there it that is. lives in my head. <laughs> Jack Black yeah. does his Jack Black thing. Yeah, he's just Jack Black. Yeah. Do you know how many times, well, <laughs> not that I talk about Twilight a lot, but do you know how many times I've called Robert Pattinson? Like, oh, you know, like Edward. <laughs> Edward. If, his name was, if his name was Robert Collins, like, yeah, I'd be like, oh, yeah, it's Robert. <laughs> Robert then, Collins. But then you have to, like, only do that movie. <laughs> oh, yeah, then you have to rewrite the book. I guess it's, yeah, it has to be an original. <laughs> We're reprinting like a- every book. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to recast everything. <laughs> All of it. That's we really love you, but you your name's do. not Edward, so we had to go with someone else. <laughs> yeah. I'm a big all film guy. Yeah, you can tell. Extensive knowledge on that whole yeah, right. part. Maybe I'll pull it. Maybe this is an angle I go for. I go for like a super Twilight fan, and maybe I just get that like fan base or something. Take that angle. I like that. We'll put hashtag Twilight on the. Yeah, on we'll the, get all yeah. that. What, do they have a name? Is there like a, like a Twilighter? Or do they have hashtag. Like a, Probably. Hashtag Team Edward. Hashtag Team Jacob. Oh, team Jacob. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> team Edward. Maybe. Well, yeah. Then I'm defi- d- dividing the fan base. But I'm we'll sure figure there's out. people that are like still fighting sides right now. In uh, as they should. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, is it settled? Yeah. I mean, I am. I am. <laughs> what side I'm are team you on? I'm Team I'm- Edward. I think. <laughs> what do we got? <laughs> I think I'm Jacob. I will always be Team Taylor Longer. Is it because he's hotter or like personality or what? I mean, like everything. He's a wolf. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's just, he's just a catch. <laughs> he's also a werewolf. Yeah, he's a dog. I mean, that's cooler. He's a, yeah, I like dogs. <laughs> dog. I, like, I like dogs. <laughs> I think just because Rick Robert Pads is like actually like an amazing actor. I'm just like, I like that guy. <laughs> yeah, there Team was Robert. One movie, Team Robert. There was one movie okay. that I just saw him in, and he was so good. It, it oh, was he's an insane. Was it Harry Potter? It was not Harry Potter, actually. Yeah, no, he's great in Harry Potter. Oh, we got some Harry Potter fans. Oh, yeah, because Rachel's got the Harry Potter tattoo. I'm sure you guys talked about that, hopefully. We did, we did, of course. I wasn't, (laughs) but I wasn't that person that I am now because I am now watching the actual, like, series in a row. I invested in HBO Max. So, yeah, I got all of them. 
just finished the sixth one so things are getting real oh yeah after I'm, like four it starts getting like yeah so i told her to shit. get into harry potter and now she's she's further the ahead than she's I past you yeah yeah she's <laughs> like can you believe they didn't include this in the movie she's like wait what you read all the books too <laughs> i did yeah no i was ready i was ready to like you spread did the knowledge. 72 hours <laughs> yeah how did you even finish that <laughs> like, literally. you're a you're a hufflepuff hufflepuff yeah Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Hufflepuff gang. Let's you were just go. giving off that energy. Yeah. Yes. What uh, makes you a Hufflepuff? Ravenclaw is like smart, right? Well, yeah. What is Hufflepuff? I don't even know. Everyone has like. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that, that, nice I wasn't one. asking for my. I was literally I, asking because I don't I, know. I feel bad. It's like Gryffindor, brave, and like Slytherin's. I don't even. Well, I, I, Slytherin's like successful or something. I don't know. And then yeah. like Ravenclaw's smart. And it's like in Hufflepuff. <laughs> yeah, they I feel like Slytherin are nice. Was like, like sneaky. They're e- yeah, they're it's like, like they're not all evil, right? I don't know. Right. They have like very <laughs> negative connotations, For and sure. also, and also, Slytherin was literally like the guy who, who the house was named after, was like the equivalent of play like. I, I don't know how to like say this. <laughs> oh God, we're we gonna go stop way. recording right now. <laughs> I don't know how to say this in a PC way. Maybe we'll like, just DM about this after. Yeah. <laughs> it's like an off top. You're, you're making me nervous I have now. To get it out. I have okay. to get it out now. I have I'll pick a it. Harry Potter group chat after this. <laughs> so don't understand why they kept his house because he was like really not inclusive. Yeah. Oh, of yeah. The, of mudblood. Mudbloods. Yeah. He, he didn't was like, like mudbloods. Yeah. yeah. He's like pure, pure, like only yeah. pure blood. And they're like, and, ah. That, right. that guy's crazy, but you know, we'll still, you know, we'll keep the team. It's like, we'll what? keep the house though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if it was, you know, like, you know, 2022 now, if it was like Hogwarts, I feel like there'd be like, we definitely get a movement, be like, we got to get a, a new house name. <laughs> yeah, they would throw Like, we can't, out. we can't be honoring this guy. This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, no, it would never fly. It would never fly. <laughs> it's not on my watch. <laughs> Hashtag cancel Slytherin? No, we're definitely canceling <laughs> Slytherin for sure. Hashtag, hashtag cancel Slytherin. Hashtag Libra. Hashtag Taurus. Hashtag Whitefall. What, oh, what else we got? <laughs> and now we can circle back, Jerbs. What's your new Aquarius symbol? Oh, we're do- uh, I, I am the water bearer. Thought she was so, so, I thought you were a full body, be- like, <laughs> I, we well, were- I was going to get up and then <laughs> I just said, I just said not here. Um, this would be my liquid IV um, sponsor, Aquarius. Okay. <laughs> nice. That's all I got Drinking. for you. Love it. Drinking. <laughs> if they sponsor me, it'll be better. <laughs> response, but no response. <laughs> Just give us a response. Bars. Right. <laughs> write that down. Write you that mind down. If I, you mind if I use that? Yeah, we'll give you. You know, you get like point zero 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 one cent per stream, but I'll send you twenty percent for that one. <laughs> oh, man. Yes, man. let's go. That's let's get I those plays up, baby. Let's go. <laughs> I think that just about wraps things up. What do you guys think? Uh, yeah, I think so. I, I think we covered another... everything. Music, yeah, I, we... Harry Potter. <laughs> We Concert. really did. We hit all the time. Yeah, I'm looking at my notes here, and I we addressed everything that I wanted to talk about. Oh, <laughs> oh great! Uh, well, we addressed everything we wanted life. to talk about too. <laughs> you know, Robert Pattinson. Yes, that, oh, that was my number one highlight. <laughs> it's like Stop no, matter, the list. no matter what we do, I was going to direct you guys towards that. <laughs> You're like, yeah, tell me about your single. I'm like, um, yes, yeah, so I don't really care about that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Robert Pattinson, aka Edward you see this guy? <laughs> <laughs> you see this guy act? This guy's crazy. Oh, yeah. He's so good. Not a lot of people know about him, but yeah. Uh, that's why we're here one. to spread the awareness. Yeah, no, that's the that's what the podcast is about. Yeah, exactly. spread the good word of Edward. You got he it. Started somewhere too. He started <laughs> somewhere were... too. Yeah, exactly. Maybe that could be. A, maybe we are the next. Everybody starts somewhere. <laughs> so we're on our way. Yeah. <laughs>